Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to the top 10 places to visit in California. Now, this is an interesting one. California is a place that I want to go to. A lot of people that aren't from the States want to go to. It has the reputation for being, you know, the home of Hollywood, you know, Sunshine State, you know, uh, LA and all the cool stuff there. But I couldn't tell you, apart from maybe Hollywood and Beverly Hills, I couldn't tell you where else I'd want to go. Like, even though California is, you know, so huge. So this video here was recommended to me by uh, Ronald Luck. He's a, a long-time subscriber, like a friend of mine now. And uh, yeah, he, like, I've been, he's been asking me to check this video out. And I know that it's going to be really useful to me. So yeah, I'm really eager to get to it. So let's do it. There's more to California than just movie stars in Disneyland. This is a state that boasts a There's a Disneyland in California? What? Today I learned. Large number of stunning natural attractions, including beautiful beaches, serene deserts, and majestic mountains. California is also home to a number of exciting major cities, charming towns, and to some of the world's best wineries. An overview of the best places to visit in California. Veyron. Is it true that the palm trees were actually imported into California? I heard that they, they aren't native to the state. Number 10. Big Sur. Located between the Carmel Highlands and San Simeon, Big Sur is a large, rocky stretch of the California coastline. Although it doesn't have any official boundaries, it lines around 70 miles of the California's famous Highway 1. The area is a magnet for travelers on road trips who are attracted by the towering redwood trees and breathtaking beaches along the route. More than just beautiful scenery for driving, though, the area also provides plenty of top hiking opportunities, which wind their way through the several state parks encompassed by Big Sur. Big Sur. It does look very picturesque. And I'm, I've got a feeling that there's a uh, an iOS, like a MacBook software called Big Sur. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, it does look very pretty, to be fair. Look at that, it's like a postcard. Yeah, I, I can tell I can tell there's like a lot of screensavers that have been like pictured here. Number nine, Catalina Island. This charming island is located approximately 22 miles across the Pacific Ocean from Los Angeles. It is both a favorite day trip for visitors to LA, as well as a popular vacation and honeymoon spot. Santa Catalina is a small island with two main centers of population, two harbors and Avalon. Most travelers to the island stay mainly in the Avalon area. Surprisingly, the island even boasts a small population of American bison that were brought to the island during the filming of a movie. Travelers can wow. reach the island by private boat, ferries, helicopters, or small planes. Once on the island, transportation is limited to bicycles, taxis, and golf carts. Really? So you can't actually drive your own car on the island? But there's cars there. Number 8. Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe is not only impressive for being the second deepest lake in the U.S., but also for its wide length of shoreline, which offers fantastic natural vistas. The freshwater lake straddles both California and Nevada and is a top destination year-round. The lake became a winter sports destination after the 1960s Winter Olympics were held in Squaw Valley on the North Shore. Summer brings hiking in the mountains and boat trips on the lake, as well as days spent lazing on the shore, swimming, and barbecues. Yeah, so far it does seem that California is super picturesque, like a lot of like pretty scenery and stuff, but I bet it's super expensive there. I 
I wonder, like, if you wanted to do like a, a couple of weeks in California, how much you'd need in terms of like spending money? Maybe like two hundred a day, two three hundred a day, like including hotel. No, is that on the low side? <laughs> Let me know. So it's like I reckon a, a week would. Number be seven. Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. These two national parks are located next door to each other in the southern Sierra Nevada mountains, and both are famous for their enormous giant sequoia trees. These wow. trees can grow to be that. more than 300 feet tall, and their trunks can be as much as 100 feet wide. Sequoia National Park, which was established in 1890, is also home to Mount Whitney, which is the highest point in the contiguous United States. Oh. Interestingly enough, Kings Canyon boasts the deepest canyon in America. The parks are also home to a lot of wildlife species, including bobcats, gray foxes, bears, and mule deer. If they're lucky, visitors might even be able to spot bighorn sheep or mountain lions. Both parks are popular with backpackers and hikers, and there are 14 campgrounds available for visitors. I do love a big tree, and these trees look absolutely enormous. Number 6. Napa Valley Napa Valley is the premier destination for wine lovers in the United States. Its wines are considered to be some of the best in the world. Ah. To accommodate the many vino connoisseurs that travel to Napa, the area now boasts a variety of accommodations, including charming bed and breakfasts, lovely boutique hotels, and well-known chain hotels. There are also camping grounds available for those interested in saving a little money on lodging. In addition, Napa Valley boasts many world-class spas where visitors can get pampered and enjoy a variety of fun activities, including hot air balloon rides and guided bike wine tours. I've always wondered how you actually make wine out of grapes. Like, do you just squeeze the juice out of them and put the juice in a barrel? Like put some alcohol in there. Is that how it's done? Do you, do you need to ferment it? It's kind of interesting. That hot air balloon does look like fun though. The views would be amazing. Number five, San Diego. Ah. With fabulous beaches, ideal climate and outstanding family attractions, it is no wonder that San Diego is one of the most popular places to visit in California. Located just north of the Mexican border, San Diego is a large coastal city with a small town atmosphere. The most popular attraction in San Diego is America's premier zoo, which is located in Balboa Park with flowering gardens and Spanish architecture. The city is home to other famous attractions like SeaWorld San Diego and the Birch Aquarium. Another tourist magnet, San Diego's stunning coastline offers miles of fantastic beaches, including the upscale beach neighborhood of La Jolla. Uh, some people call San Diego uh, the Dago, is that right? It does look really nice. To be honest, most of all of what I've seen so far of California does look really nice. Doesn't look that hot either. I always thought California was like super hot year round, but looks kind of like maybe 20 ish degrees Celsius, something like that, which is for me. Perfect. Number four, Death Valley. Located in the Mojave Desert, Death Valley encompasses much of the Death Valley National Park. Although regarded as the driest and lowest place in North America, Death Valley offers a variety of outdoor activities, historic sites, and nature viewing. From snow-capped mountains to colorful sand dunes, the unique desert landscapes of Death Valley are like no other place in California. Places of interest include the scenic vista of Zabrinsky Point and historic sites like Scotty's Castle, the Wild Rose Charcoal Kilns, and ruins of ghost towns. Why is it called Death Valley? Is it because like if you get stranded out there, you know, you're likely to Yeah, someone let me know in the comments. Uh, 
That's a lot of sand. <laughs> yeah, I bet it gets super hot in the daytime, right? Like 40 Celsius plus. Yeah, you would not want to get caught out there without water. Number three, Los Angeles. The second largest city in the USA, Los Angeles is located in Southern California, surrounded by the Pacific Coast, mountains, and valleys. Known as the City of Angels, the city offers a wide range of attractions and beaches, including wild and crazy Venice Beach and Malibu, the sandy playground favored by movie stars. Travelers to LA can find some of the best-known amusement parks on the planet here, including Disneyland and Universal Studios Hollywood. Los Angeles is also one of the best places in the United States to go in search of celebrities. Tourists can look for celebrity homes or shop at the designer stores in Beverly Hills that cater to the stars. And in LA, travelers can also visit and eat at the same famous restaurants that the celebs and the rich and famous dine at. Yeah, it does look like a fun place to be. I've got a friend who lives out uh, in LA right now. I should be visiting him uh, later on this year. So yeah, that should be fun. But yeah, let me know how much money I'm gonna need. <laughs> like, Or when is the best time to go to, uh, to LA? Number two, Yosemite National Park. Located in the Sierra Nevada mountains of central eastern California, the Yosemite National Park is well-loved for its stunning granite cliffs, giant sequoia groves, beautiful waterfalls, and diverse animal and plant life. Visitors can hike among the 800 miles of trails or drive along scenic routes to experience the beautiful landscapes and glimpses of wildlife. Attractions include Glacier Point, with incredible views of the Yosemite Valley, the Nature Center and Yosemite Museum, and historic places like the LeConte Memorial Lodge and the Awani Hotel. Beautiful. I love a waterfall. Yeah, I've got to say, I understand why a lot of people live in California. It's, uh, it is a beautiful place based on what I've seen. But yeah, I've just heard the cost of living is just out of control. Like, like how much money do you need to make per annum, like annually, to, to live a comfortable life in uh, in Southern California? Like, what are we talking like? A couple hundred grand a year, something like that? It, it, surely you can do it for less. Number one, San Francisco. San Francisco is a fun and exciting city in Northern California, set on the tip of a peninsula in the San Francisco Bay Area. Undoubtedly, the Golden Gate Bridge is the city's number one attraction. Tourists can drive, bike, ride, or walk across this famous suspension bridge to admire and photograph stunning views. In addition, visitors to San Francisco can visit Lombard Street, which is famous for its tight curves, or take a trip to San Francisco's Chinatown section, which is the largest outside of Asia. And mm. then, of course, there are the other big tourist favorites, Fisherman's Wharf and the infamous prison on Alcatraz Island. Yeah. Wow, look how tight those roads are. <laughs> Whenever I think of San Francisco, I think of that show Charmed. Do you remember that show? I think it was filmed in San Francisco, the one with the three witches. It does look very, uh, very quaint, kind of cozy. <laughs> look at the seal just sunbathing. Wow, great shot. That is a great shot. Yep, I get it. I see the appeal. I see why so many people live or choose to live in California. Very picturesque, a lot of stuff to do. Like really, it's a place that I can imagine you waking up and being able to like see like nice beaches, palm trees, like just 
sun. It must be quite uplifting, good for the soul. But yeah, like I, I wonder, you know, how much you have to pay for that privilege to live in one of the sought after places in California. People who live in California now that are watching this, let me know, like, how much do you, do you really like need to, like for, for both a vacation for like a week or two and versus, and also like how much you need to earn to live a nice, comfortable life. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.